Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the inspiring and motivational messages of the Bible. Today, we will explore a significant question. Does God bring prosperity? In this video, we will examine what the Bible says about prosperity, how it relates to our faith, and the broader understanding of God's blessings. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the true meaning of prosperity through God's Word. To understand whether God brings prosperity, we must first define what prosperity means according to the Bible. Prosperity in the biblical sense encompasses more than just material wealth. It includes spiritual well-being, relational health, and overall blessings from God. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Joshua emphasizes that true prosperity comes from obedience to God's Word. It's not just about wealth, but about aligning our lives with God's principles and experiencing His blessings as a result. Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. The psalmist describes the prosperity of those who delight in God's law. Their lives are fruitful and flourishing because they are rooted in righteousness and God's Word. Section 2. God's Promises of Prosperity The Bible contains numerous promises of prosperity for those who follow God's ways. These promises reflect God's desire to bless His people in various aspects of their lives. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 6. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed, and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Deuteronomy highlights the blessings of prosperity that come from obedience to God. These blessings encompass every part of life, from our families to our work and daily activities. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 to 10. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Proverbs teaches us that when we honor God with our wealth, He blesses us with abundance. This principle reflects the idea that prosperity flows from a heart that puts God first. Section 3. Prosperity Through Faith and Righteousness Prosperity in the Bible is closely tied to faith and righteousness. God's blessings often come to those who live by faith and walk in His ways. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Jesus instructs us to seek God's kingdom and righteousness first. When we do, He promises to provide for our needs indicating that prosperity follows those who prioritize their relationship with God. Psalm chapter 112, verses 1 to 3. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in His commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. The psalmist highlights the blessings that come to those who fear the Lord and delight in His commands. Their prosperity extends to their families, showing that righteousness leads to enduring blessings. Section 4. Spiritual Prosperity 
Beyond material wealth, the Bible emphasizes spiritual prosperity. This aspect of prosperity is about experiencing God's peace, joy, and spiritual well-being. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Paul reassures us that God will meet all our needs according to His glorious riches in Christ. This promise includes not only our physical needs, but also our spiritual and emotional well-being. 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. John's prayer for his friend reflects a holistic view of prosperity, including physical health and spiritual well-being. True prosperity encompasses all areas of our lives, including the health of our souls. Section 5. Misconceptions about Prosperity it's important to address some common misconceptions about prosperity. Prosperity gospel teachings often focus solely on material wealth, but the Bible presents a broader and more nuanced view. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 9 to 10. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Paul warns against the dangers of desiring wealth for its own sake. The love of money can lead to destructive paths and distance us from faith. Prosperity should never be pursued at the expense of our relationship with God. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Jesus instructs us to focus on heavenly treasures rather than earthly wealth. Our true prosperity is found in the eternal rewards and spiritual blessings that come from living for God's kingdom. Section 6. Prosperity Through Trust and Obedience Trusting in God and obeying His commands are essential for experiencing His prosperity. When we place our trust in Him, He guides and blesses us. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Trusting in the Lord and submitting to His guidance leads to a prosperous. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. God bless you.